Hello Righteous, welcome to day 153 of 365 Days of the Righteous, your daily dose of righteousness consciousness. Proverbs 11 verse 19, as a righteousness leads to life, so he who pursues evil pursues it to his own death. Righteousness leads to life and evil or wickedness leads to death. The Passion Translation reads, a son of righteousness experiences the abundant life. But the one who pursues evil hurries to his own death. Jesus said in John 10 verse 10 that he has come that we may have life and life abundantly. You can't separate the righteousness of God from life. We are made righteous the same moment we receive the life that God gives, the life that God offers. Romans 4.25 makes us understand that we were made righteous when Jesus was raised to life. Romans 5.21 says, So just as sin ruled over all people and brought them to death, now God's wonderful grace rules instead, giving us a right standing with God and resulting in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. In the New King James Version, it reads, So that as sin reigned in death, even so, Grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The righteousness of God, which we receive as a gift when we believe, has its root in eternal life, the very life of God. So it will always lead to life. In the same way, righteousness leads to life and the experience of abundant life, pursuing evil leads to death. As you can't separate the righteousness of God from life, which is the life of God that is in us, the righteous, the believers, you can't separate evil or wickedness from death. And the more conscious we are of the righteousness of God, the more conscious we are that we have that life of God, the life of God that will lead us to live our lives and make choices that align with the life of God. Now, similar scriptures to our main text today are Proverbs chapter 12, verse 28. In the way of righteousness is life, and in its pathway there is no death. Praise God. Proverbs 21, verse 21. One who pursues righteousness and loyalty finds life, righteousness, and honor. Hallelujah. Be more conscious of the truth that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and He is your righteousness and the life of God will manifest more and more in you. Thank you for joining me on today's 365 Days of the Righteous. I look forward to sharing with you again. Have a blessed day.